over the inside life now we do. <laughs> so anything they have over inside. <laughs> this is where the say politics is over. Now governance now anyway now. Labour Party replies Buhari. He says APC didn't win presidential pool. It was stolen from us. The Labour Party, LP, LLP, yeah, LLP, you know it's at the top. Well, thank you very much. This is Serious Matters of Unif Unif TV. Please share videos so that drop a comment, make them simple and civil. Well, the Labour Party has said they are progressive. Congress APC did not win the presidential elections but stole the people's mandate. Well, the Labour Party was reacting to a comment by President Muhammad Buhari that opposition parties lost the pool, you know, due to overconfidence and bad tactics. Well, Obia, Obiora, if for Labour Party's acting national publicity secretary, in a statement on Friday, said the president was completely wrong to say opposition parties lost because of overconfidence. Obiora, if for Labour Party's, he said, rather, I beg your pardon, he said, the opposition parties lost the pool because it was manipulated and rigged beyond compensation or comprehension, I beg your pardon. Now, the Labour Party is very worried and they stopped with a statement from the office of the president, wherein he said that the opposition party lost the 2023 presidential elections because of their overconfidence, complacency, and bad tactical moves, and which he claimed created more problems for them, the statement reads. Well, um, I saw a video in the course of the week, and you know, they, 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 it has been ascribed to, oh, this is the way APC treated others. You know, with a promise from the president saying that he would not allow any mobilization of thugs and all of that, but we saw thugs, you know, going on the street. Thugs going to pull in unit if you are not voting for APC, get out of this place now. And nothing happened. No arrest was made up till now. No arrest has been made. And the party, in fact, mentioning that party alone should cancel, in fact, should take that party out of the whole election. That, that means that party, you know, got those thugs to, 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 to intimidate people from voting. And yet, some people still come out to describe this election as being fair. I come to think of it that the president, the president, the president, he, he, the, the point is this. Yeah, yes, he, the president said that overconfidence and bad tactics, you know, nine no allow opposition or whoever win the election. I want to say that Nigerians, we, we, we bestowed too much confidence. It's supposed to be the other way around. We trusted him too much. We trusted them, we trusted the promises of the government, we trusted the promises of President Mahmoud Buhari, we trusted the promises of INEC too much. And they came in through the back door. Well, it's okay, it's okay. INEC said they were going to upload in real time. They changed it and said, no, it's not. They, 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 at that time, at that time, Senate was going, House of Rep was going, but presidency was not going. The same network. Oh, come on. All right. Well, the Labour Party, you know, um, is very worried, you know, like, like they said, they are very worried that that statement is even coming from the presidency. So we are wondering what we should expect from the tribunal that, you know, these people have gone. He went on to say that we want to point it out clearly to Mr. President, President Mohamed Buhari, that his position on the outcome of the said election was false, untrue, and it is not a true reflection of what played out during the election. It was obvious to everyone, the whole world was watching. And it's okay. There are several reasons why opposition political parties lost the 2023 election. The first is that the Independent National Electoral Commission snubbed the Electoral Act wherein it failed to upload the results from the polling unit in real time as promised and in regards to the law guiding the election. Now the INEC by so doing created room for the election to be rigged. Again, the current APC president-elect, uh, Bola Ahmed Tinobu, didn't win the election because the said election, popular, particularly the presidential election, was manipulated and rigged beyond comprehension. I mean, how do you explain it that this person who claimed to build Lagos, who claimed he built Lagos, did not win? He himself did not win in that Lagos. After the whole manipulation, they couldn't manipulate it beyond me. They, they tried to, but they couldn't. With all the intimidation and everything, Labour Party still won there, massively. They won him in his home state, supposed home state. They won him in the federal capital territory. So, what are we saying? You know, he didn't win. 
That's what the Labour Party is saying. Well, so political parties didn't lose election because of overconfidence or complacency as proffered by Mr. President. APC, in collaboration with the various government agencies, simply rigged the election and rigged themselves into power. Well, all of these put together, do they amount to overconfidence and complacency on the part of the opposition party? It shows that the president who promised Nigerians that he was going to give Nigerians a free, fair, and credible election simply failed in his duty in giving Nigerians the election they deserved. So, Mr. President is completely wrong. I believe that, I was, that he was heel advised. It was erroneous for him to say that opposition parties lost election because of overconfidence. Overconfidence in what? Overconfidence in what? In what? Or maybe overconfidence in him, not knowing that he was going, he was not going to do what he promised us. Maybe he needs to explain to us. Maybe Mr. President needs to clarify. Well, in fact, Labour Party won the election, but it was brazenly stolen by APC. Mr. President is aware of the fact that APC did not win the election and that it was stolen. Well, you see, one. All these things will come to bear. It's only a matter of time. We only pray that it will not be too late before all these manipulations are exposed and all these people are, 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 are disgraced. And in whatever nation they run to, they should be disgraced there. They should be disgraced back home. To, to suffer or to enjoy what they have cooked themselves. It's sad that we cannot be free and fair with ourselves as a nation in the name of wanting power. Well, let's see how it all goes. Serious matters on Unif TV. Please do share our videos with others. Drop your comments, make them simple and simple. We appreciate you. God bless you. Bye-bye.